Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we will be doing our new podcast. We're just going to kind of shoot the shit about WWE and things that have happened in the past week. Yeah. So, yeah. um, how about this new deal that oh, with they the, have signed? The Raw deal or are you talking about SmackDown? Because they both Oh, it's a new. Raw deal, all right. They both got... The fans are getting the Raw deal. Well, you know. But they both got um they both got TV deals, yes. though, right? Yes, uh, I believe Roth was signed earlier in the month. Maybe I think it's a five year deal for them as well. I know the bigger deal was the not like in terms of money, but the bigger like I guess the commotion. Yes, was from SmackDown mm-hmm. that will be now on Raw on on uh, not on Raw. <laughs> Raw, Raw will be on Fox. Yeah, like SmackDown the regular Fox will be on Fox. Not there. even like. Well, here's the thing. This is what has been discussed. I think they're going to start out that way, uh-huh. and I think they have to keep a certain. Audience, I believe they're going to shoot for the three million viewer mark, uh-huh. and then if it probably dips down there, They'll they may be. end up on Fox FS1. I, or I would, I'm kind some of surprised other. they didn't start with that. Well, it's uh, we had TNA back in the day that was on Fox Sports now uh, FS FS1. Yeah, that's where they started, mm-hmm. um, and I'm kind of surprised they're back in the wrestling game again. Oh, you mean Fox Sports? Yeah. Um, well, aren't don't they have like the UFC? They have like a show for the UFC. So who was it? Fox that got their I'm deal as well. Sure, at, at one point, at least they had. Yeah. It. I know that they had UFC fights on Fox. Mm-hmm. So my guess would be that they see money in it. Right. So they want. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. It's just the the nice thing about it is at least with the WWE, you're having like a show where you can control the entertainment. It's yes. not. You don't have but, the word what? See, that's I think one of the problems. What? So with WWE being on USA, mm-hmm. what have they been on there? Twenty, twenty five years, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was we just had the Raw twenty five. Yeah, but they weren't on USA the whole time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were. No, they were on TN. Oh yes, you're right, you're right. They for did switch. Very long Okay, time. anyway. So but yeah, you're right. <laughs> um USA has kind of given WWE the reins. Yes. With the way they're filmed. Oh, okay. So I think Kevin Dunn may be on the chopping block when it comes to the Fox broadcast. Well, it could be that you think that Fox is going to be more... I think they're going to be more hands-on in the way things are done and stuff like that. But, but, do you think SmackDown already has someone else running? I don't believe so. Because it's definitely possible, because you, you can see with a lot of things that the, SmackDown the, is very different yeah. than Raw. So there's a chance there's already someone true. else. It's possible. And you're right, Fox could want to have certain... Well, they did that with TNA years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, they treated it more like a sports show, mm-hmm. so yeah. they had... Yes, I remember yeah, this, yeah. They had the wrestlers' names at the top, mm-hmm. uh, you had the timer for how long the match had been going on, and then mm-hmm. you had the ticker across the bottom with matches that happened previously, which was cool. It yeah. added a different... It makes it feel real. Yes. Because... And I noticed this during the introduction of Raw, mm-hmm. that despite the fact that clearly everybody hates Roman Reigns in the audience, mm-hmm. they, Michael Cole and Corey Graves are doing a great job of making it feel like Roman Reigns had a purpose for coming out. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, that's that's something that you don't really see too much right. anymore. They actually did a good job selling his purpose. All right, so we'll get to Raw in one second. All right. How about the Friday time slot? We don't know if we're two or three hours here. Well, I would assume with the price, it'll be two. Probably. Because that's a huge difference. You said that it was almost half a billion for... No, well, it was two... No, if SmackDown was two... Yeah, no, uh, Raw um, no, Raw was... I think... I don't know what the final figures were, but I think it was upward of 400 million. Okay. Yeah. So, with that big of a difference, you would imagine... I, but I was talking about SmackDown, I meant on the... Because they're moving to Friday. No, I know that. Oh, okay. I, I, I knew gotcha. what you meant. I, I gotcha. meant my my point was since there's a big difference between the mm-hmm. prices of the mm-hmm. two, that the two hour slot would make more, more sense, sense to for... con- continue. I gotcha. Because at that point, technically, you're kind of giving away the third hour for free. Yeah. And the fact that SmackDown's done a very good job of keeping a two hour show entertaining, uh, for the most part. So, uh, especially part. since again, but. The superstar shakeup. Yeah, well, that's true. But um, I mean, you know, is this they're kind of putting all their stock into SmackDown at this point because, you know, they have this huge deal riding on, especially if there's going to be, you know, uh, things that they have to meet in order to keep the show. So, are you saying that you think that they want to make SmackDown better because they're less stable? 
Maybe. Uh, I mean, granted, the deal doesn't c come into place until, what, September of 2019, I mm -hmm. think? Yeah. No, over a year. So it's over a year. But, I mean, it's, you know, something you want to be consistent with, you know? Yeah, I guess. But I, I would imagine that Fox would be more interested in the name than the product on TV. I know I that guess, sounds dumb. Well, yeah, but they want to bring in viewers. But at the same time, USA obviously doesn't yeah. seem to care too much. Um, I which, guess is, the, which is weird, yeah. but... Um, I think, but I think they're banking on the fact that they draw the same the same viewers every week, like us. Yeah, it's true. So, well, I think that's the majority of it, and there's casual fan. Well, not casual fans, but people who are going to watch it regardless of what's right, going on. Right. So, and, I mean, that kind of brings us to Raw. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, this was not good. Eye numbing nonsense. Um, lowest rating since June of last year. Yeah, it was really bad. And SmackDown was, I think, the lowest rating since June as well, or sometime besides the Halloween episode, which is the holiday, so. Funny enough, very good episode. SmackDown? Yeah, yes. SmackDown was actually very good. Well, they used all two hours pretty much to their benefit. I mean, we had uh, a couple of qualifying matches, building up matches for next week. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, it was just I, good. And we'll get into a little more. Let's just... I like the fact that they're actually telling a story yes instead of playing mm -hmm. playing one story in repeat like raw does because well, raw was all like just stuff that's been going on forever we wasted the first hour of raw building to one match at money in the bank that we all knew was going to happen it's true and that was a waste yep and because thanks to mr roman reigns yeah well it's funny because seth rollins was like the the standout and he's not even involved in anything at right. money in the bank right mm -hmm. now which is very funny. Mm -hmm. um, and there's no real obvious opponent for him at the show. Yes, there is not. Which is actually kind of strange. But week after week, the man gets probably the loudest pop mm -hmm. of the night. All right. So um, it seems that they understand what they have with Roman now. I know, I know that sounds kind of dumb based okay. off of the way they right. book him, but I have a train of thought here. All right. So... With especially how this opening segment went, um, Rollins came in to save the day because yes, it did. made it seem like Roman needed him. Mm -hmm. And since the fans react to Roman, I mean to to Seth. yeah to Rollins, that they're using Reigns as a vehicle to I guess build up Rollins a little more. Yes, yeah, so what they were doing with the Shield when they got them back together. Yes, but that was to benefit Roman. Now mm -hmm. it seems like they're doing it to benefit Seth. Okay. So, because I, I heard or saw a few things where they were, or a few things online where they were trying to, like, um, say that there's a chance that Seth could be Lesnar's next opponent. Right, yeah. So, there's a chance that they could be building to this and possibly having Seth take the Universal title instead of Roman because they know and that the... That yeah. just, they know yeah. that the response from Reigns doing is not going to end well. And, and that makes the most sense. I yeah. mean, Rollins has gotten himself over as a face where people were very critical of him as a face yeah. because he, he did such stale. a great job as a heel, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden we were, what, three months into his face run? And yeah, it, was it was just like, boring. Huh. <laughs> like you would have thought a feud with him and Samoa Joe would have been fantastic, mm -hmm. and, and it was like, great, we're getting this crap again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, the Seth has been great. He's had great matches. In his... But that's what it's been. Yeah. It's been his in-ring work that mm -hmm. has elevated. And yep. the same can be kind of said about The Miz as well. Oh, absolutely. Considering the fact that his in-ring work has finally caught up to his character. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's kind of what we're getting week, week in, week out from the two of them. Yeah. Um, but speaking of an opponent for Lesnar, mm -hmm. remember, well... I don't think Bobby Lashley is ever going to get to that point. I hope he gets released soon. Wow. No, there's nothing against him. They just don't know what to do with him. And this was a WWE signing that made no sense. There yeah. was no reason to bring him in yeah. other than an opponent for Brock Lesnar. Exactly. Because you wasted everybody else on the roster against him. And then he comes in his first night. He says he has unfinished business. Right. Which is a cryptic thing that I don't think anybody understands. Because the only person of note that he feuded with was Vince. Yeah. That's the only thing that I think of when I think of Bobby Lashley in the WWE. Yeah. And obviously nothing's going to come of that. No. And then all of a sudden they have Sami Zayn picking fights with him. Why? 
But I mean, and this is this is uh, his first run on Raw all over again. I mean, you have Kevin Owens who has elevated himself, mm-hmm. and then Sammy Owens. Sammy Owens. Sammy Zayn is just floundering at I this. I don't point. think that's the case. I think he got strapped with the crappy yeah. getting stuck with Lashley thing. Mm-hmm. And but I mean, uh, Sammy has what he has been given. He's been doing well. It's it's funny though because if you look back at Sammy's um, feud with Braun from mm-hmm. like right after the first draft yeah he seemed at the time it seemed like a waste the right. time but he did such a good job of putting braun over was, yeah and made braun seem so legitimate mm-hmm. so while it seemed like a guy who was like kind of in no man's land he was doing right. a good thing for so are you saying that he's getting like the dolph Zig- ziggler treatment kind where of. he's being used to put over but he hasn't established him you know i mean they well, have Ziggler had no already. i know but that's what i mean Sami Zayn has he hasn't won a championship in the since he's been on the main roster yes that is true but he's another guy where he doesn't need it because there's a few of them um and we've probably discussed this at some point recently in terms of people who don't and Kevin Owens is another one. All right. Yes, he's won the Universal title. Mm-hmm. He's won multiple Intercontinental Championships. But we also know that he's won, I think, at this point, two or three matches this year. Yeah. And it's the end of May. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and that's including house shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. So That's true. But yeah. But he could win the money in the bank, be the Universal Champion, and we would think nothing of it because it's Kevin Owens. Yeah. I could think of the same thing as Sam Zane. I guess that's true. If he comes out and uh, next week, because this could very well happen. Mm. Next week, Kurt Angle comes out with Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins says, I want another. I want to I want to defend my title at Money in the Bank because right. I'm a fighting champion. They make a match between Sami Zayn and Bobby Lashley. Mm. Sami Zayn beats Bobby Lashley, faces uh, Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank, I believe 100%. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. at the next pay-per-view, Seth Rollins goes at the Universal Championship, wins it there. It's a possibility. It, it's one hundred percent possible yep. because every match that Sami Zayn is in, what? No, I was going to say every match that Sami Zayn is in, at least you can tell he's putting it all oh, out there. Oh yeah, there's no, he's not never so, phoning it in. No, there's never a point where you feel like he's not a threat to at least win. Mm-hmm. Does he win often? No, no. but it's yeah. possible. No, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. So, um, but speaking of the pay per views, mm-hmm. everyone is going to be at least four hours long now. Yeah. I, I 7 p.m. Like start that. time, Eastern time. I don't know if we're probably going to still do an hour pre-show. I would imagine um, so. But um, So does that mean we're going to do five hour? The big four are obviously going to be longer, which yeah. I'm guessing Money in the Bank is... It, it, they, it, they, they when they announced it as... Because right. back, I think it was in November or December, they announced it right, as it was, to be... Uh, part of the big five Mm -hmm. now it was going to be co-branded regardless of what they decided to do um so i guess it's included now Mm -hmm. which is funny because i think we've brought this up before but now um almost 50 percent of their pay-per-views are big pay-per-views yeah that's true which is very silly Mm -hmm. but whatever Um, oh also they said that uh with i guess the new raw deal mm -hmm. that they'll make more money on a single episode of raw than they will on a pay-per-view yep it, the pay-per-views are a waste of time, mm-hmm. apparently. And but I think it, there was talk about Fox hosting a pay-per-view on their channel. How do they do that? Oh. You, you mean, like, not, like, not a host pay-per-view. Event. Yes, a pay-per-view pay- event. Host a WWE Network exclusive yes. event. Yes, fair enough, yes. Well, th- because that's how they that, have to put right, it Right, right, no. Because abs- yeah. it's not that's, actually a pay-per-view. Well, I mean, I think there are still outlets they, you they, You can it, still but. get them, but that's, I would imagine that's probably a very, very small Which fraction you think they, of the... Yeah, because there's no way they're going to have a block of a three- or four-hour show now with no commercials. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, so. they, they would absolutely kill it revenue-wise. Mm-hmm. So... But yeah. Anyway. Um. Anything else of importance happen on Raw? I mean, the B team t- got another victory. Yes, they are more over than the Authors of Pain. Yes, we did not see again this yep. week. Which is very, we did, also didn't see Matt and Bray. But yeah, that doesn't matter. Do quite you think as much. Money in the Bank will be a match between the two? The, the two teams. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no reason not to. What are you gonna have them beat the Ascension next week? Probably. Mm, mm. Probably no. Well, they, well, they beat the Fashion Police twice. Yeah, but I, I, I think they're gonna still build it a little more. Their no, not, win. No, I, my point is that there's no reason to believe they won't beat them. Oh, oh okay, time. yeah. Oh, I, you <laughs> think they're gonna have it? Yeah. Why not? It's raw. It's raw. Well, why not? 
We did get Bobby Roode versus Elias for the fourth time on Raw? Uh, minimum. Yeah. And the, the funny thing is, it's only been a month. Yes. So. And this was a full match. It wasn't Yeah, it wasn't interference. No. or anything. As soon as Elias was in the ring and Bobby Roode's music... I felt like going to that gif of Michael Scott saying, No! 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 <laughs> um, we got... Let's see. Oh, uh, well, we did have a women's qualifying match. Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking for. Which was a... Sh- like, who books this crap? No, they did it for a reason. No, it's I... a bad one. <sighs> All right. But the re- okay, ahead. the match was Natalia versus Dana Brooke versus Liv Morgan versus Sarah Logan. Um, they did this. Because the person they wanted to win mm-hmm. isn't a viable winner in any of the other matches. The the crazy thing is, though. What? There's a possibility she wins the money in the bank. Bullshit. And and Ronda wins the title? No. And they have the no. two go head-to-head? No. There is Not a happening. 100% Not possibility. Happening. It's possible, yes. But so can Lana. Lana could also win. There is some She has a good chance that. of winning too because yes. I like my Mr. and Mrs. or their Mr. and Mrs. Money in the Bank. Yeah, thing. that's true. So, but this could be best friends with the uh no, championship like and like the briefcase. It, it is true Ronda has a very good chance of winning the belt. Yeah. But I don't think that's going to happen. Also, and now that we're uh, we're actually talking about Raw, um a p- important thing that happened as well was the uh Stephanie McMahon trying to demean um, Kurt Angle, and then getting involved in that horrible, horrible uh, contract signing between the two. So, was this that they didn't have faith in Nia and Ronda to say their parts? Because it kind of just came out of nowhere. Um, or was this Stephanie just being Stephanie? Yes, it's that one. Because the two of them are more than capable of... They wanted a reason... For them to be mad, right? But and why did they need Stephanie? To because there was no, there was, there was no build to it. I guess that's true. So what they should have done mm-hmm. is had a contract signing where Ronda just says, "Like, mm-hmm. good luck. You're gonna need it." Right. And then Nia gets annoyed, and then poof, done. Yeah. Kurt Angle could be there for mm-hmm. that. You know what I think they should have done? I think we should have gotten what we did last week, where we got the awkward as hell challenge or whatever you want to call Honestly, it. Honestly, I had no problem with that. Oh, well, yeah, no, it was fine. Yeah. It was still very awkward. It was strange, awkward. but okay. yeah, it was... And then this week, when Stephanie was there, you just have her in her office uh-huh. and have Naya walk in and walk out, and that's it. Or have Stephanie invite her into her office or something. And you use Naya as a proxy for Stephanie. Uh-huh. Like, almost, you know, for the authority, because to get revenge on Rhonda. That would make more sense. Right, yes. and then then you have something to base it, where Rhonda's like, so what were you doing in Stephanie's office last week, or mm-hmm. whatever, like that. And then that's how they could have just built the something yeah, at, I guess at the contract signing. That would make sense. Because but that's what it seems like it's going to be. The problem is that they don't want Nia to be a heel yet. Again. But that's inevitably what's going to happen. Uh, you don't know that. They, hmm. It could just be too... Uh, because it went in as a face versus face match, and they could keep it that way, using like a mutual enemy as right. a means to keep it. Because they went through so much to make Nia a face, right. I don't think they wanted to change right mm-hmm. away. They don't want the big show happening right. again. Yeah. Um, well, I, all right. So when we were talking about the whole Natalia winning Money in the Bank thing, uh huh. I mean, you could see Ronda beating Nia. Winning the championship yes. and then having Natalia cash right in on her. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, keeping the title on Nia is going to be tough to book mm-hmm. because she's basically beaten everybody on the roster. And you would be giving Ronda her loss, you know, in her second match, yeah, technically it's on not TV. Wise. And having Ronda win the championship already, you mm-hmm. kind of put yourself in a corner. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I'm trying to think. While that would be a good story. Natalia is not the correct person to book that story. In. I agree, but and if you were going to do that, she would have won a more impressive qualifying match. I guess. <laughs> but now, now next week we have the last spot open, and it's going to be a gauntlet match. Yes, I think there's a very good chance whoever wins that gauntlet match could actually win the yeah. money in bank and because Charlotte's not going to win it. Or I should say, there's probably no one from SmackDown going to win it. Most it, likely, especially considering the fact that it was, you know, SmackDown exclusive last year. Yeah. 
Um, well, that and the fact that I think they just put the good women wrestlers on SmackDown in it to make it a better match. I guess that's true. Not necessarily to use it as a vehicle to get them to have the mm-hmm. briefcase. Right. Um, so there's a good chance that whoever whoever gets it will inevitably cash in on probably whoever beats Ronda if she takes the title off of Nia or guess, something like yeah. that. Just to take it... Mm-hmm. Like a smooth transition kind of thing. So who is in that women's match? We have Bailey, Sasha, all three members oh, of the Riot about Squad. The yes, the Gauntlet match. match. Like they both lost their match. No. Yeah. The no. Whole... Yeah, it's Bailey, Sasha, the Riot Squad, Riot Squad, um, Dana Brooke, mm-hmm. and then is Alexis not in it? Is no, Alexis in she? the match. Yeah, Alexis and M- Mickey James. No, Alexis in the Money in the Bank. Oh right, right. She won. That's yeah, right. Mickey yeah. So James Mickey James. So you one. have seven. Yeah. Um, I mean. I, I it's going to be Bailey or Sasha. You would think, but yeah, I mean... It's got to be. Yeah, because they're not... We still don't have any feud between the two of them. Yeah, it's they not going to be... backtracking and then going forward the, with it. And the only one it could be besides Ruby. those... Yeah, it would be yeah, Ruby. Right. The, the, the only one out of those seven that mm-hmm. wasn't Bailey or Sasha. Um, so, But the good news is that match is going to be great. What, the gauntlet? Or, no. Or the Money in the Bank? Money in the Bank match should be very good. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the fact that they went with eight for both of them. Yeah. Um, the four versus four, or I guess four and four. Yeah, um, four from Rover, yeah. Yeah, is, uh, is the right decision mm-hmm. because while, and this is funny, I was thinking about it. You remember that Money in the Bank build two years ago? Mm-hmm. When it was Dean, yep. Ch- Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, Cesaro, mm-hmm. uh, Alberto Del Rio, and one other person. It's a six man on an undivided roster. Yeah. I think Kevin Owens. Did I say Kevin Owens? Yeah, you did. Okay. I don't remember who the sixth one was then. But six people on an undivided roster for a Money in the Bank before the brand split. Oh, right. Yeah. And it was phenomenal build with six people. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Raw before. Oh, yeah, that's one of your favorite moments. Well, because the show (laughs) opened and the six of them were sitting on ladders in the middle of the ring. It was really. It was something. I wish I could remember who the sixth person was. Was it The Miz? It might have been. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Too much wrestling has fried my brain. Yeah, I guess that's true. Speaking of frying your brain, we had uh, No Way Jose and Baron Corbin again this week as well. Yeah. So. But uh, you know what? No Way Jose gets a decent pop from the audience. Well, because they like to dance. Right. But that's that's fine. I because know. Because that's know. his character. I and know. as long as it's getting over with the crowd, that's all that matters. Same thing with Elias. People love his walk with Yeah, Elias but, thing. I mean, the whole Elias and Bobby Roode. Yeah, thing, that, that, just, that needs to stop. Yeah. Um, uh, what about uh, our main event? Braun versus Finn Balor. I like it. I mean... It's very good. Well, Braun beat the crap out of Finn for a majority mm-hmm. of the match. Then Finn was able to kind of gain some offense on the outside yep. and he, whatnot. He, he outmaneuvered him. Right. I mean, I feel like they're, I don't know, making Braun more of a man now. Like, yeah. Yeah, he's obviously taking, a not a beating, but it's more competitive against opponents. Or a year ago, he would just be beating the crap out of them Which if is, your name wasn't Roman Reigns. But this is good, though, because then he can be put into believable feuds. Right, but I, I think they've kind of said that he's not going to be the guy to take the title off Lesnar. Which is fine. I, I don't... Because if, really, if they were going to do that, they would have done, done it already. already. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's fair to say that there, he's probably going to be used more for, like, grudge matches mm-hmm. instead of, like, title feuds. Right. Because I guess he's another guy that doesn't necessarily need a title. No. Yeah. What's the point? Yeah, he's yeah. a draw regardless of what he's doing. He's the most over guy besides Seth, Seth maybe. Yeah. I'd um, say that's fair. And then it's just everyone loves him when he beats up people. Sure. But... The big thing is, while Braun did inevitably win this match, mm-hmm. he kind of showed some respect to Finn. Oh, absolutely. When he stood him up in the corner mm-hmm. after the match. Which yeah. is something that he doesn't do very mm-hmm. often. Usually nope. he just continues the beat down. Yes. And one last thing I want to talk about on Raw. All right. Um, I kind of expected Jason Jordan to come back during the the uh, after match beatdown mm-hmm. on Which, Chad Gable. Oh, yeah, when I, he was getting beat yeah. up by... Uh, Dolph Ziggler and right. Drew McIntyre. Because, I mean, I mean, they obviously have history. Jason Jordan, Chad Gable, and Chad Gable should have been Kurt Angle's damn son. It's true. They, lo- they, oh they God, look exactly so the same. Tom. Um, well, you see, I don't, I, I would imagine that 
that has to be what they're leading to, just based off the fact that there's no reason for Dolph Ziggler and uh, McIntyre to does. do right. like to to want a feud with them. Right, right. And there's no tag teams on Raw. It's true. No <laughs> legitimate ones. <laughs> no, no. I mean, that's why we have the uh, B team. B team. Yes, yep. exactly. So Darn. yeah, uh, outside of that, Raw was not nope. not good. Not really. No. Hurt my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. But now. On to Smackdown. a good show. Smackdown was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, very, very different yeah. feel. Um, we actually had reason to have the Miz TV segment, which we normally don't. You really, you really don't like that headband. That headband is dumb. <laughs> I hate it. I really do. I like this jacket. The headband? No. All right, whatever. Like the silly best. Anyway, Miz has the New Day as his guests yep. on Miz TV, mm -hmm. and he wants to know who... <laughs> Which one of them is going to be in the Money in the Bank match? Yeah, he fed into them so many times. It was yeah. great. Oh, yeah. No, the whole back and forth was fantastic because everybody knows what they're doing yeah. on the mic. The New Day was were being uh, childish, mm. obviously. The Miz was getting frustrated. Yep. He wants to know who's going to be the contender in the Money in the Bank match. Yep. He tries to pry a wedge in between the three of them, saying that they're all deserve, they all individually deserve it, but who's really the one to, to take... Mm -hmm. grasp for the the title shot um but yeah. yeah no we didn't go anywhere with it but it was entertaining yeah, yeah. because this is going to be a thing week after week probably yeah probably well yeah because the new day were very close right. to the chest on who and i still like your idea for it uh, the triple threat between all three members oh, that'd be cool on the smackdown like prior to yeah well Money that would be something where like this kind of got to them, mm -hmm. but it really didn't look like that was the case, though. No, no, I know. Um, but yeah, the three of them, like, inter... They kind of, like, talked within each other or to each other, and they decided that Big E is going to be the one right. and then to face you tonight to yeah. the Miz. So that was pretty good. Yeah, because he did say it. he could beat any one of them yep. on any night. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, we got a decent match between the two yep. of them. Apparently he was correct, though. Yes. Oh, oh actually, it was pretty funny the way, because Miz just up and left. Cause right, he, he and then didn't Paige want to do it. told him, get the hell back out there, yeah. basically. It was good. I like the way they did because I figured she was going to come out and tell right. him that. Yeah, yeah no, they did that well because yeah. we didn't get her coming out, mm -hmm. another entrance, yep. and more waste of time. Yep. I mean, you know, the whole segment took, what, half hour, right, you figure? Uh, Between probably, the talking and the match, it was about a half hour. I would imagine so because it really yeah. didn't seem like... Yeah, because I said, I when I was watching i said oh if this goes to 40 minutes it will be the first hour basically of raw if you broke smackdown yeah. into three parts mm -hmm. um but it didn't yeah it wasn't quite that long all right so do we know if big cast is legitimately injured yes. or are we sure mm -hmm. okay. he got hurt at a house show yeah well i did read that as well but i mean could they you know there be some punishment for what had happened i think they continue the story with daniel bryan if he's not hurt right that, I would that's have, my thing. I guess so. My thinking. But it's funny. I don't remember who pointed out, but somebody had posted on Twitter that you have Daniel Bryan and all these fantastic matches on SmackDown Live, and then he has his first pay-per-view match, and it's against Big Cass. Mm. I think that they would have continued with this if he had not actually gotten hurt. Probably. Um, because it feels like they, they wanted the real, even though he won the pay-per-view match, so maybe not. Yeah. He he did, I believe, from the, like... Uh, yeah, and then they had it last week continue, and I guess it just ended, like, abruptly. Like I, think, I think it was a coincidence that he got hurt yeah. after that had happened. I guess it's true. Um, well, I mean, it was just Daniel Bryan had a beatdown, and that that was it. Like, yeah. Yeah. But but they at least luckily had an excuse if it is a legit injury. Oh, yeah, no, they they booked this perfectly yeah, because we got Jeff accident. Hardy versus Daniel Bryan in the yeah. main event, and, and the winner faces Samoa Joe next yeah. week. Instead of having Big Cass lose to Samoa Joe, and right. it, yeah. it gets you another week right. of, or two mm -hmm. weeks, or I guess another week of matches. Right, yeah, um, absolutely. And you're going to get a better build in mm -hmm. terms of, like, like, how they, like, I guess aggression with Samoa Joe right. saying he could beat anybody and mm -hmm. you know him being all right. A tough so guy. you want to talk about the tag team number one contender match or you want to talk about the women's money in the bank match? I next? love both of them. All right, I loved both of them. One of them I didn't care about as much. Well, all right. So we'll we'll do the the tag team one because it's shorter and it'll get to the point. It's true. Well, there's also only one of them. That is very true, and that's why it's shorter. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, no reason at all. 
we just randomly get that there will be a number one contendership match. The winner faces... Well, the Blood and Brothers keep on saying they want competition. That's true, but all of the Usos and the club were represented in their videos as being destroyed already. Like with the action figures. You're not supposed to pay attention to that stuff. Oh, shit. Well, I've been do- watching I, this all wrong? Well, in, in all fairness, they that's not necessarily what they suggested. Because it's just they're... they're I'm taking you know, things literally? Is yeah, that what I think that's what the problem okay. is. Um, because it's them, like, not... It's probably just the Bludgeon Brothers not taking them seriously. Mm-hmm. Oh, fair the, enough. Yeah, okay. All right, with, I got with that. With the metaphor there. Um, whereas, you know, there's literally no one else that they could choose because everybody else was involved except for... Like, the bar probably had stuff, too, that they were doing, right? I feel I like they remember. had, like, Seamus and Cesaro. Uh, I don't remember. I feel like they, since they... Oh, yeah, maybe. I thought so. Maybe. But I could be I know wrong. the New Day was definitely in there. Yes. Because they started out with them, and I said, oh, this isn't looking good. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we had the New Day versus Gallows and... Another uh, New Day. The Usos versus Gallows and Anderson. Mm-hmm. Winner faces Bludgeon Brothers at Money in the Bank, I'm guessing, right? That was what yes, it was? Yes, that was what it was. Um, Gallows and Anderson won. Ah, uh, Yeah. I was very excited. I mean, excited. granted, I was like, there's no way the Usos win this because we don't need to see this again. Yeah. However, this is WWE booking and expect I, the if this stupidity? was If this was pre-brand, not brand split, pre-superstar shakeup, mm-hmm. the Usos would have absolutely won. Yeah. Um, but they didn't. Um, the club won. And uh, we're so still very excited. Three weeks out, right? It's of, the 17th. Yeah, so we're so, about oh, yeah three weeks out. Yeah. Um, so that means they have plenty of time to build up between the two. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like the fact that they chose the dominant force with Gallows and Anderson. Gallows obviously right. being yeah. the big Even guy. though he didn't get the best showing in the match, Carl Anderson had the better showing. Yeah, Gallows kind of looked a little worn out yeah. at the end of the match. But. Well, he, he was basically a comedy spot with him in the ring. Yeah. Where he missed the spot in the corner, and then he got kicked by both of the Usos. Yeah. But that, you know, that's kind of his thing. Oh, all right. You know what? Before go any further uh-huh so that uh bobby lashley sister spot on raw uh-huh. worst uh segment in top five you think it uh it breaks that list or cracks that list yeah um i'd say so yeah the bailey and alexa thing still there mm-hmm. um the little var ball segment has got to be yeah. up there too the funny thing is these all happened recently i know that's part. that's the worst part um uh, what it's, else? It's the funny. old day was bad too the old yeah. It wasn't as cringe wasn't as the as other bad. ones, but it was still terrible. Um, but yeah, um, this one was particularly horrible. Yeah. Um, Especially in an age when, you know, I mean, just it, it, it's, it's just it, bad all around. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even going to get yeah. into it. Well, because the funny part, it wasn't necessarily meant to be offensive. No, it, no, exactly. It was just supposed to be dumb and, yeah. you know. Because the idea shot was not. Bobby. Yeah. It, the idea wasn't necessarily that. That there is, well, I guess the idea was that a, a sister of Bobby's has to look like a man. I guess. Maybe. I guess that kind of makes sense, but none of them actually looked like him. <sighs> Whatever. Um, All right, we'll yeah, move away let, from yeah, that. Let's, 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 before uh, someone says something that causes trouble. Yeah. Uh, okay. Women, money in the bank. We had two qualifying matches on yes. SmackDown. Uh, the first match, Lana versus Billy Kay. Yes. Now, we knew this was not going to be a wrestling match. Yeah. I. It's funny. I was watching the Hulu version, and I skipped ahead to see who won because mm-hmm. I figured this wasn't a match really worth watching. Oh, no. I skipped too far. I'm like, <laughs> You missed the what? finish. <laughs> that, cause I just, two moves. I just saw Lana celebrating. That's all I saw. All right. So have wwe completely stepped back from that whole dissension between rusev aiden english lana or we absolutely just, yes because i mean he came out and gave aiden english came out with lana because i, I think Fantastic. what they need to, to realize is that aiden english did play a part in getting rusev over absolutely and he's lana just gonna is, do the same thing right, with lana exactly yeah, and they might as well jump on the bandwagon exactly because, uh, it makes no sense not to. It's literally you're literally throwing away money yeah, if you do absolutely. it like that. Yeah, yeah. Because what's going to happen is that we're going to have a Lana version of the Rusev Day shirt. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's he had a freaking sign that said Lana Day. Yeah. It, it's just they had they have to stick with it, and it's great because Lana, while not being the most impressive of wrestlers, still has a very good presence. Because she feels not like a like a strong competitor, mm. but she's very good on the mic. 
she knows how to like draw like reaction out of the crowd mm-hmm. and the fact that despite the fact that she's generally been billed as a heel she has the the face mm-hmm. like dynamic of rusev day right so you could put her with in stuff and it doesn't really matter what role she's playing it's gonna work it's true so it, it's just they have to they have to stick with it yeah um uh, the only, <laughs> somebody had posted this on twitter uh-huh. and it was and they were like oh we could see it happen for a second time where aiden english grabs the money in the bank briefcase for lana <laughs> uh it's, there's this always a it, that wouldn't happen <laughs> no but it's technically possible i wouldn't be surprised if he was outside for that match yeah. we'd probably be outside for both of them uh, i honestly and, expect, uh, I expect a rusev to be out there too yeah but whatever um I, if, if you did have this breakup between them uh-huh. i mean what, what are we gonna get aiden english versus rusev feud that's not gonna do anything for anybody no because rusev is just gonna beat the crap out of yeah aiden and then what do you do with aiden english nothing yeah exactly you've so. done something with somebody who we all expected was going to get flounder and get released after yes. uh what's his name was re- uh released simon gotch yes but they 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 accidentally stumbled upon something that works. Play the hot hand. Yeah, pretty much. So, Dumb. um But yeah. Uh, so yeah, Lana beat Billy Kay with a mm-hmm. kick to the face and then a face buster, yep. X Factor, whatever yep. the hell you want to call gonna it. I was going to go with X Factor. Yeah. And I'm sure it's called something different. Yeah, it's face buster, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, what she calls it something oh, different. Oh, I'm it's sure. probably got a yeah. name. I mean, um, it wasn't pretty, but... No, it did not look but, good. I mean... It doesn't matter. The, the nice thing is they made it so they took someone who didn't necessarily need to win mm-hmm. with billy k which is funny because last year mm-hmm. both lana and naomi were fighting for the women's championship yes. during it, money in the bank now fun. both of them are in the match this yes. year i think they wanted the more uh i guess the more veteran wrestlers mm-hmm. in the money in the bank right. match last year that's why they put yes. lana in the title match because mm-hmm. it's much easier to protect her from looking too bad and out of place in a ladder match. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of which, there was an awesome clip online of Ember Moon hitting the eclipse off of a ladder. Oh, uh, it's probably yeah. from like one of the indie shows. Yeah, right? yeah. So it has been done, and I'm, we're obviously it's going, going to, to get that spot. Yes, it's going and to it's happen. going to be fantastic. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Um, and then yeah, like I said, second qualifying match was Naomi, Naomi. versus. Uh, oh no! I it say was, Deanna, it was, but it was Sonya, Sonya Deville. Yeah, yes. Sonya. So going into this, I'm like, well, Mandy's not in it, so you kind of just assume Naomi's gonna win. Yeah, and she but did. uh, no momentum for Naomi. No, no, no. This is no, the first time we've seen her since the whole Uso yeah, Bludgeon with, Brothers mm-hmm. thing. So it's been and much. since WrestleMania, I think that was the last match she wrestled, probably at least on TV. Yeah. Um. So Naomi's just gonna be in the match, maybe a couple spots, nothing, right? Nothing special. Yeah. If there was a pin to be had, um, I'd believe that she'd take it. Yeah. Um. But. But yeah, no, she's not winning. There's no, 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 no reason for her to win. Yeah. Um. I mean, not much else really happened on SmackDown outside of the main event, which we'll talk about next. Yeah. I mean, um, it was just entertaining overall. Yeah. The. Uh, Carmella. Is oh no, doing... we got the AJ and Shinsuke thing. We finally got the uh, stipulation yeah. for the match. Let's let's do the Carmella thing first. It'll take two seconds. Okay. Yeah, Carmella basically she 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 shows up wearing an Oscar mask, which oh, yeah. was actually kind with of grills, fun. right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then she takes it off, and then she says that I have to be better than Oscar because mm-hmm. I beat Charlotte twice. So that Simple means that, math. Yeah, I have to be twice as good as Oscar. Yeah um yeah we still don't know how they're gonna book the go about booking this i mean it's true because you have to imagine that she might even keep the title was, but hey, it's gotta but you be. have everybody else pretty much in the money in the bank match um well i kind of do no duo aren't but oh yeah i guess oh yeah they, they did help. help her with right so it's true i wouldn't be surprised if we see the three of them kahoot in because there's only actually. one spot left and that's going to go to a raw yes it will not Superstar. be another smackdown yeah. person so that's always possible yeah um but, but yeah she just does that right. she's all i'm, I'm the best because i'm the women's champ yep. blah 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 now we can go on to the aj and the shinsuke thing yeah um so not to 
anyone's surprise, but we're getting a last man standing match. Yeah, because he was uh, Shinsuke was announcing the stipulation for the title but match. But the whole segment was good. They yeah, really, it wasn't bad. The the feud has gotten better as time has gone on, which is weird. Because well, well, we started off and we were kind of we were excited to see it because technically it's a dream match. Yeah, well, but they there made was sure to tell you about that too, yeah, which is the part that ruins it a little bit. But there was no build to the feud, and now we finally have build. Yes, and it's gotten better and better each time because i mean you know the whole nakamura heel turn was definitely the right way to go yeah it's true it definitely added something to the feud Mm -hmm. which is funny because 2018 we have face bobby rude heel shinsuke nakamura i was thinking about that yeah that's a good point i'm like why but shinsuke it works it works for shinsuke Mm -hmm. but it's just funny because bobby rude is just not doing it as a as no a he is just fitting in yeah um, um but yeah <laughs> like you said last man standing match. right yeah but i mean the whole segment was entertaining because I mean, it, this wasn't you know shinsuke forced to talk and it made to seem oh like he didn't really feel comfortable right right exactly because he felt felt like he was invested mm-hmm. in this and the back and forth was good because shinsuke made a joke about it being a pillow fight mm-hmm. and aj was you know just like who do you think this is a joke? So then Shinsuke went on and on with the Nita face thing. Yeah. And then they beat the crap out of each other outside the ring. Mm-hmm. And uh, Shinsuke finally said, last man standing. Yup. I just, I wonder if they're, no, I was going to say, they're not going to do the same ending they did last time. Well, the two of them getting knocked out at the same time. Yes. They can't. Because, like, like yeah, you said, it one was the man same exact to, thing. Right. Well, I, I think it's possible. Yeah. I don't think that the match... I don't. It might not have happened, but I would imagine at some point they'll book one. Mm-hmm. All right. So I have the million dollar question. Sure. What is going to main event Money in the Bank? Um, it won't be Jinder versus Roman. That <laughs> Are I'm you a hundred percent sure? That is one hundred percent. You saw how the fans reacted to that. that doesn't mean anything. It's going to be the men's Money in the Bank match. It should be. It's going to be, unless they do the women's, because they did the women's Rumble last. But I, I feel but this isn't a first time ever. Yeah, so. I feel like it's just going to be the men's money in the bank. Match. <sighs> so they could bookend it like we we thought they would do with the Royal Rumbles. Hmm. Um, it will not be Roman versus Jinder. It will probably it it could be AJ versus Shinsuke. It could be. This is the best chance yeah. that they've had. Mm-hmm. Um, which is and it, crazy. It, honestly, it doesn't matter it doesn't who wins matter. the match. No. I mean, the, the oh, uh, AJ versus Shinsuke, because they're, they're going to get a good reaction regardless. Oh, yeah. Shinsuke well, still gets plenty of chance. Yes, but if the match is bad, then maybe not. Yeah, but I mean... They, they, their they, last they, man... Their uh, no DQ match was good. Yes, but I'm just saying, if for some reason they back, they take a step back... Fair enough. Um, but yeah, it, that that should be the main event. It should be. But this time, I actually agree with you. Not, not agree with you that it should ha- be... But that it might be. It could be. Yeah. There's a possibility. Yeah, it's either that or the men's, men's money, in the money bank. bank. Yeah, so. because there's no reason Jinder versus Roman yeah. should go on. If anything, that should be like the first match. Get Just it out get of it out of the way. Yeah. Pre-show? Yeah, well, no. <laughs> Dark match. Well, yes. if anything, the pre-show might actually be if they have the Raw take. No, it should be the dark match. Roman hits the spear, and we go on the air as Roman is pinning Jinder. Dun-na. And that's it. Dun-na. Dun-na. Stop singing it. So catchy. Yep. All right. So we have Daniel Bryan versus Jeff Hardy as our main event for uh, SmackDown. Another dream match. Yeah. Um, it's crazy that this match happened. Yeah. Oh, not so much because they're both on SmackDown, but the fact that if you look back like a year. Right. Oh, yeah. You would have never yeah. thought this match. Um, I don't know if you saw there was an interview with Daniel Bryan, and he kind of just expressed how miserable he was as GM and his role with the company. I'm assuming this was a shoot interview, not on SmackDown. No, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was an interview, I guess, uh, somebody had done with him. Uh-huh. And uh, I, I guess he was quoted saying that if he wasn't featured on a segment, he would just call and be like, do I even have to show up? Makes Which sense. Which is why we didn't see him a lot of times. Yeah, because if they didn't have anything for him, he didn't go. I would That's just... 100% fair. Yeah. If, if... And which, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because he was around the thing that he loved but mm-hmm. he wasn't doing so i mean do loved. you think it was cleared because it's possible he was gonna leave well no there's no way he wasn't gonna leave 
No, if he wasn't cleared. I know. Well, you don't just, think I'm, he was going to leave? No, I'm saying there's no way he wasn't. Oh, going oh to leave. okay, yeah, yeah. There was no, uh, there was no appeasing him. Right. They were trying to use him for whatever they could get out of yeah. him. And I and guess I guess that was they were finally like, all right, since they, he was probably pushing, yeah, and they finally, you know, so, um, well, uh, well, who knows what really went? If he left, he probably would have been it all in. Um, oh, absolutely. In, so, but uh, apparently, CM Punk was backstage during the press conference. Yeah, I had heard that. Yeah, I guess it's pretty much a done deal that he's going to be involved in some way. It's, the... Well, he's going to be at Starcast uh, signing autographs and stuff like that, and I mean mm-hmm. that's a pretty big step anyway. Yeah, because I don't think he's made any real wrestling-related appearances. No. And then what does he, he have a fight next month, right? June? I think June or July. Yeah. I'm not sure. So. But, yeah, I mean, that would. It's but, I mean, good. granted, they already sold out. They're yeah, they didn't not planning it. on streaming it. That's just going to be like a house show? Yeah. It's bold. I don't know if it's bold, but you could probably make a lot of money off of it, right? Oh, if they, yeah. If oh. they stream it. Yeah, oh, Absolutely do like pay-per-view outlet it could just be one of those things they're playing off and then you know at the end when everybody's you know super hyped up for it they announce CM Punk and then, you know something yeah, like that and then true. all of a sudden they say they're streaming or something like that mm-hmm. I don't so, know yeah that'd definitely be the funny thing is I don't like know too much about like the because have they really announced much of the card one match has been announced that's it that's it and yeah, it's what? Cody Rhodes versus uh, Nick Aldis I was gonna say these, I figured, these, I figured it seems. was Cody who was gonna be yeah well, if if he's holding the title at that point in time. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for the NWA title. Gotcha. But, I mean, you know, out, outside of... It, it's not like these are all guys that haven't wrestled, you know, on the independents. You can't go out and see them. Yeah. It's not like, you know, they had saying CM Punk was going to be there. Mm. I mean, Mysterio will be there, too. That's a pretty big yeah. name as well. Mm-hmm. But, well, because it's Cody and the Young Bucks are the ones who are right, really putting run, all yeah. together. Right? Mm-hmm. So, but, but, yeah. but anyway... Back to uh, Jeff down. Hardy versus Daniel Bryan. Yep. Um, we, we kind of saw a little bit of a different Jeff Hardy as well. Because I feel like he kind of went out of his normal routine in mm-hmm. the match. I mean, it seemed like there was a lot more reversals and things like that. And he just seemed like, uh, I guess he was... Playing to Daniel yeah, Bryan. Yeah, I guess that that's really what it was. Yeah, well, if anything, that kind of just shows yeah. that Jeff can be more dynamic mm-hmm. than he normally is. Because, appears. I mean, you know, he kind of runs through the motions, too. You, you get the same things with Jeff, and, you know, I, I kind of noticed. So I was like, oh, all right, that was different. I didn't expect that. Yeah. You know. but, but, yeah, that just, again, proves how good the two of them yeah, are. That, that swanton bomb, bomb onto Daniel Bryan's knees couldn't have felt pretty. Nope. So yeah. That's for an old man. Yeah. Um, but, inevitably... Jeff taps out to the to the heel hook, which is I believe that's what they yeah yeah that's what they called it. It's a very strange looking submission move. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Samoa Joe is on commentary. He was good. Yeah, like, oh man, he's so good. Yeah, he's well, so because good. it's funny because when he's talking like that, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Some of his promos aren't very good. He's always very confident though. Yeah, that's, yes, that's what that he true. really has but going. For there's him. a lot of times where his promos don't seem to go anywhere. No, this is where but, but you believe of, what he's saying. Yeah, that's... but like when when he's not talking about mm. something that's important, you kind of yeah. lose interest, or at least I do. Um, Nothing like him. Uh calling out regal for shinsuke that oh, was yeah. some of that his was, best work in wwe that was good. but yeah him on commentary here was very good and then as soon as the match ends he goes into the ring what are we celebrating about yeah you next week i'm putting me. you to sleep yep so it was good it very was good a very, very well written they made someone on commentary that actually made sense yeah got involved in a not stupid way mm-hmm. um so the booking on smackdown has just been great yeah. Um, in terms of who, how they set up matches, the way some certain matches end, it's it's just yeah. completely night and day from how it was a month ago. Which is fun. yeah. And then Raw was the strong show at the turn of now the year, just, and yeah. Now it's just lost. So, yeah. but what are you gonna do? We complain that's, on the internet. That's Woo! that's what we do. Yeah, yep. pretty much. Yep. 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 Um. Yeah, so really got anything else to talk about? I don't think so. It was really the biggest news lately has been pretty much just the contract signing yeah. with the TV deal, mm-hmm. right? And that um, won't play out for a while. Oh, yeah. It's another year. Mm-hmm. But it's just going to be something that yeah. everyone forgets about until like two weeks beforehand. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, we're moving stations, everybody. Yeah. yeah that's going to be interesting. Now, I don't know what goes in that Tuesday slot. 
Because you know how people kind of get in that motion where you're so used to doing something and then all of a sudden Tuesday night there's no spot in there? Are you suggesting that at 8 o'clock there's nothing on a Tuesday night? No, but I mean people are so programmed to do something that you've been doing for what, almost two years? Are you talking about wrestling fans in general? Yes, yes, I'm talking about wrestling fans. Okay, yeah, that makes a little more sense. I was going to say, there's certainly not a lack of television in at 8 o'clock at night on any night of the week. No, it's mostly garbage, but... Well, it doesn't matter. There's still stuff to watch. It's true. Um, and if and if you have the time to sit down and watch TV, you really don't have, like, the highest of standards usually mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um, there could be a different... You know, but some people might not even care. It's true. It's like, well, well, I usually don't have time on Tuesday nights, but if it's not Friday nights, I have the time. So I guess some that's people true. Do yeah. 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 I don't but know. Yeah, Thursday, Friday it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, Thursday's a tough spot because I mean, Impact's there and they are up against you know football every week during that is true during that, the season. That's that, why Tuesday and Friday are probably yeah. the safest. Mm-hmm. Because I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if Impact honestly moved to Tuesday night. Just well, to take that. Were they going to do that, or did they move to Thursday because they were on Tuesday? Um, I don't remember what their because I could have swore that's what happened when SmackDown moved. I remember they did change Tuesday. their date to Thursday when SmackDown moved. They yeah. did plug it, but so they're probably on Tuesdays then, right? I would imagine. I don't remember. I wasn't watching it at that no, point, but so I'm I don't just, remember. Like based off of like you know common sense, you yeah, know, you would imagine that. that oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. So yeah. up they're they're trying to take us over. We gotta move. Move. Let's move yep. a spot. Yep. So. uh... Yeah, that's pretty much all we have. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the show. Leave us feedback in the comments section below. Like, dislike, it really doesn't matter. Just let us know. (laughs) (laughs) All right. uh, Until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.